Parents kicked me out at 16 to make room for my sister's new baby. I posted about their neglect online and dad begged when rich grandparents threatened his inheritance. I turned 16 just a week ago. There was no party, no celebration, and my parents barely even wished me before kicking me out of their house. The reason behind it was my older sister Amanda. She's pretty much my parents' favorite and has always been for some reason. She's seven months pregnant right now and since we have a house with four bedrooms, my parents sat me down on the morning of my birthday to inform me that they now wanted me to move to my aunt's house so the new baby could have the room. My parents have never really cared about me and have always done the bare minimum when it came to me, but this was shocking even for me. I hardly expected anything from them. After they were done explaining to me. That they'd need the new room and that I was apparently old enough to. Move out, we just sat there in silence for a while. They'd told me that they would still take care of all my expenses until I turned 18 and make sure I was well fed and looked after, but they just couldn't keep me with them in the same home anymore. I asked them why they couldn't just use the guest room for the nursery. They told me that they'd use that for Amanda's boyfriend to stay with them. So to sum it up, my parents had a room of their own. My sister and her boyfriend had a room, and her baby would get its own room. Amanda wasn't at home and I could tell that this was on purpose so she wouldn't have to watch this happen and feel guilty. My sister and I were never close because of the age gap, but she'd never really been awful to me either. We were civil to one another for the most part, but if she was okay with this arrangement and actually wanted me to leave the house so she could accommodate her new baby and boyfriend, then maybe she wasn't the person I'd thought she was. I was disappointed and even more so go because it was my birthday, but I didn't say a word to them and just agreed to leave. By now I've realized that my parents are a lost cause. There's nothing I can say to them to make them love me and I've accepted that by now. So after they told me that they wanted me to move out and live with my aunt, I went up to my room and started packing. They helped me pack, but I think that was just to help me get out quickly after I was done. They even dropped me at my aunt's house and were very happy talking to me throughout the car ride, but didn't notice that I wasn't responding and was just silently staring out of the window. Once we got there, they dropped me off at the door and didn't even hug me or kiss me before leaving. My aunt welcomed me happily because she actually does enjoy my company and as far as I know she loves me. More than my own parents do. I talked to her and after a while I told her how disappointed I was with what my parents were doing. She was caught off guard when I said that and asked me to repeat whatever I'd told her. So I repeated everything that had taken place that morning and her smile was instantly replaced with a frown. She didn't say anything to me, but grabbed her phone and said that she had to make a call and went to the other room. I didn't hear anything for some time. But then I heard the sound of my aunt fighting on the phone in a high voice and that's rare because my aunt rarely ever screams at people. And she's a really soft-spoken person. So I knew someone must have pissed her off pretty bad for her to lose her temper like this. Then she came back to the room all red in the face and still looking very annoyed. And I learned that it was apparently my parents who had pissed her off so badly. So my dad, her brother had told her that I'd actually suggested this arrangement for the sake of the baby and I was completely happy moving out of my childhood home to live with my aunt. This is why she'd been okay with taking me in as well, since she could tell I'd never really been happy living with my parents and me making a suggestion like that didn't seem too odd to her when my dad was trying to convince her to take me in. She's a single woman in her late 30 s and has no intention of getting married or having kids, so letting me live with her was just like having a roommate for her. And she didn't have to worry worry about the cost of me living here either, since everything that I needed would be paid for by my dad. My aunt liked me and she thought that I was the one who wanted to live with her. So she agreed to this arrangement. But now that she knew the truth, she'd called my father up to confront him about it, because what they'd done was messed up, and she had to give them a piece of her mind. After the phone call, she was really upset, and so was I, because this was something I don't think any other kid my age goes through often. I'd always known they liked my sister more than me, but this was a little extreme. If they'd literally lied to my aunt to cover this up because they knew how insanely horrible this was. They'd literally chosen to give up their guest room for Amanda's boyfriend, who's in his 20s, has a job, and lives in his own apartment. If they wanted to make it work, Amanda could have easily moved in with her boyfriend. But it was at my parents' insistence that she'd been living at home because they wanted to be closer to her, and they were ready to even sacrifice my comfort just to keep her close. I was very hurt, and so I decided to go online and expose my parents for whatever they'd been doing. I didn't know if my aunt would be on board with it or not. So I waited for her to leave the room for a nap, and then I took out my phone, typed out the whole thing, and posted it without thinking. I'd mentioned not only the events of that day itself, but also how my parents have never treated me fairly and that I've always been considered nothing less than a second-class citizen in my own home. I kind of had a breakdown while typing it all out, 
And the post. Was not just me exposing my parents. But it was also kind of emotional, and by the time I posted it. I was in tears. I switched off my phone after that. For some time because I was scared. Of the repercussions that this was bound to have. An hour or so passed, and I tried to read a book but couldn't focus. And then my aunt woke up, rushed. Into the living room where I'd been sitting ever since I arrived at her house, and she asked me calmly if. I posted something I truthfully told her. That I had, and that was it. There was no further discussion about it. So I switched on my phone and then saw that the post had been. Seen by several people in our family, and I'd received a lot of texts. From my parents and even from my sister. In the meantime, a lot of my. Relatives had commented on the post and expressed how they were on my side. Some of them had even texted me. And reached out to tell me that they were always there for me if. I needed any help whatsoever. That was uplifting and I felt better. Until I went through my parents' messages, all of which were filled with hate and anger. Obviously they weren't pleased with what I'd done and were demanding that I take the post down. My dad had said a lot of things about me in his texts and even added that he wished I'd never. Been born horn, which was hurtful but unsurprising. My mom's texts were along the same lines, and the only ones that were even slightly different were my sister's. She didn't say much, but told me. That she'd like to speak to me. In person if that was possible, and left it at that. I didn't know what to say to. Any of it and was just very overwhelmed by all the people I had to respond to, so I just kept my phone aside again and didn't say. Anything to anyone for the next couple of days. But what I did was block my parents because I didn't have any intention of talking to them anymore. I knew knew they were legally bound to keep sending money for me until. I turned 18, and apart from that. I didn't think I had any reason. To speak to them anymore. My aunt was also fine with it, and if my dad had tried to. Contact her in the next few days, she didn't inform me about it and. We pretended nothing had happened at all, which meant that she was on my. Side and supported whatever I'd done. That was enough for me and it was all the support I wanted or needed. For the past week I barely had. Any contact with my parents, but today they showed up outside my school while. I was about to leave and they looked pissed. My friends were all well aware of the situation between me and my parents, so they accompanied me outside and kind of acted like a human shield around me so I wouldn't have to interact with them if I didn't want to. But they kept yelling out my name and I had to respond. I walked right up to both of them and told them that I didn't want anything to do with them anymore, but they didn't pay any heed to that and told me that I needed to come home with them right away. I didn't understand why all of a sudden they wanted me to return with them when they'd made it so clear in the past that I was not a priority for them at all and felt like this was just them trying to redeem their image and reputation among their family members. So I told them that I wasn't going anywhere with them until they told me what was going on as a way to try and get to know why they were acting like this all of a sudden. On one hand they looked pissed off, and on the other they still wanted me to come back home with them. They told me that they didn't want my friends hearing this, so I told them to back off a little so I could speak to them in private. Once my friends were out of earshot, my parents told me that they were here to take me back because I wasn't answering any of their calls or texts and they needed me to come back so that they'd be able to get their inheritance. Still, they explained that after I'd made that post, pretty much everyone in the family had become aware of the situation. And it had reached my grandparents. My paternal grandparents are quite well off and they threaten my dad by saying that if they continued to treat me like this then he'd lose his inheritance. They'd been told that if they didn't try and reconcile with me, treat me better and make sure I was loved and looked after, then whatever my father was supposed supposed to inherit would end up going to my aunt, since she was the one taking care of me, even though she didn't need to. And my dad couldn't afford to lose the inheritance because it was a significant amount of money. My parents had a decent combined income of their own but I know that had I been in their place, I probably would have also wanted the same thing for myself. The only difference is that I would have had enough brains not to make it seem like I was doing me a favor by saying that they'd take me back because they weren't doing me a favor. They were doing this for themselves and not for me. And even then, they didn't have the common sense to at least act like they were willing to let me live with them. So I said that I didn't care about whether they got their inheritance or not and walked away without bothering to wait and hear them out, even as they screamed at me to come back. I took the bus back to my aunt's house and told her what had happened at school, and she seemed annoyed as well. To ensure that this doesn't happen again, she's contacted her lawyer so we can do something about my custody. Of course, it's still my parents who still have their rights over me, and that has to be changed if I want to live with my aunt. I also called up and thanked my grandparents for trying to fix this, but I also told them that I really didn't want to go back to living with my parents because now that I'd spent a couple of days living with my aunt, I finally felt like I was free. Living with my parents had been nothing. Short of suffocating, and I'd kept hoping. That things would change, but they never did. My grandparents didn't live in the same. City, so we didn't meet often, but whenever we did at family gatherings and. The holidays, my parents were always on. Their best behavior so they wouldn't know. 
How I was treated at home. It wasn't as if I was treated. With cruelty, but it was more like ignorance and avoidance. On the surface, it all seemed fine. But if people spent a couple of days with me at my parents' house, they'd know that they mostly pretended I wasn't even there and cared only about my sister. And after she got pregnant, that just got worse and I was pushed to the sidelines altogether. So I told my grandparents all of this and they reassured me that if that's what I wanted to live with my aunt, then they'd make sure that it happened. And if my parents signed away their rights, then they'd make sure everything I needed was paid for by them. I was happy after that conversation because things were finally looking up for me, but it didn't last long since I just received an email from my dad. A couple of hours back. It was not hateful or mean, but just disappointing. He said that there was no need for me to post what had happened online and make this so public when the word of what had happened would have reached my grandparents anyway through my aunt. But now, along with my grandparents being mad at them, they also have to deal with a ton of hate from their relative and their being ostracized, which seems unfair. He told me that even some of his co-workers found out about this because the post was public and it had shown up on their feed since he was tagged in it. This wasn't a good look for him at work, and what I'd done had just caused a lot of unnecessary drama in their lives, according to me. So Ida, for posting about how my parents asked me to leave the house and move in with my aunt on my 16th birthday because my sister was pregnant and they needed my room for the baby. Update 1 So before I get to what happened, thank you so much everyone for bothering to take some time out and comment on my post. Your kind words mean a lot too. Me, so thank you. Now to answer some of the questions a lot of you seem to have regarding why I hadn't left my parents' house before this and why I'd waited for them to ask me to leave. Especially since my grandparents and aunt seemed willing to help. The reason for that is that I wasn't exactly treated cruelly. Like I already said in the original post, I was never treated badly as such, but I was just ignored and unwanted. That's a sort of mistreat as well, but for me, I was just glad that I wasn't being beaten or spoken to badly. I still had a roof over my head and food to eat, so I had convinced myself that I was doing just fine and didn't think it was important for me to actually feel loved or anything. I didn't really realize that I was being neglected because it had become so normalized for me. And as for why I didn't approach my family for help, I just didn't want to burden them. I was also worried about what would happen if they refused to help me out, and somehow my parents found out that it'd be very bad had for me at home, since my parents care a lot about appearances and stuff, and that's really why I just kept everything to myself and tried to deal with everything while suffering in silence. My aunt didn't offer to take me in herself because she didn't want to insult my parents and she wasn't even sure if I'd want to come live with her. So we didn't do this earlier, but now that this is what's happened organically, I guess it all worked out for the best. It happened a little late, but still better late than never. She's in talks with a lawyer right now to get my custody rights transferred to her, and it's going to be a hell of a task to convince my parents to give up their rights. Since now the inheritance is at stake. But even if this goes to court, I know that my grandparents and aunt will have my back. My aunt's been very apologetic to me. Ever since I came here because she's realized how neglected I was at my own home and feels bad for never trying to talk to me because she felt like it was not her place and letting it continue. At least the air is clear between me and my family now, and I feel a lot better about the future right now. Then there's also my sister. It's so in my original post, I'd mentioned that she'd texted me and told me that she wanted to meet me in person, if that was possible, but I didn't know what to say to her, so ignored that text. She'd never personally been awful to me and had adopted the same behavior that my parents had. She'd just been distant from me for most of my life, but if she had to talk to me, she was generally nice. I thought that the whole idea of kicking me out so her boyfriend and child could live with her and our parents was her idea, so I was upset about that as well, since it meant that now she was going to start treating me badly and show her true colors, so I didn't get back to her. We had a weird, tense and strained relationship, but I still liked her better than my parents since she'd be nice to me whenever we did speak and it wasn't her fault that my parents liked her more than me. So when three days ago, she texted me again and asked me to visit her, I decided to call her and ask why she wanted to see me. I wasn't going to go back home, which is where I assumed she'd be, but to my surprise, she told me that she was living with her boyfriend at the moment and wasn't feeling well enough to go out, so she was asking me to come to see her, so we could have a discussion about everything going on in the family. She told me that she had a lot of things that she wanted to talk to me about, so, out of curiosity, I did go to see her. Once I got there, she first apologized to me for never speaking up for me, even though she knew that our parents were playing favorites and never favored me. They'd always ignored all my achievements to celebrate hers, and I was always the least wanted kid. But she never did anything to remedy that. She just never felt comfortable speaking to 
our parents about this, so she just let it slide. And since I seemed okay and fine with the treatment I was getting, she felt less inclined to say anything. She'd now realized that it was pretty messed up and wanted things to change. So she apologized to me. She also told me that the living arrangement was something our parents hadn't discussed with her at all, and she'd been shocked to find out about them kicking me out to accommodate the new baby and her boyfriend because she had no idea that this had happened. She'd never even asked for any of this, and her plan had been to just live with our parents until the baby was a few months old, and then she'd move in with her boyfriend. She'd wanted to move out earlier, but had stayed only at my parents' insistence. However, after my post, she realized that this couldn't continue and moved out within a week. She'd had a huge fight with our parents over her moving out because they believed that this was a bad decision and now they weren't even talking because she'd been accused of being ungrateful and selfish, none of which she'd been because she'd never promised my parents anything and they just assumed things themselves. So all that drama was for nothing. Ultimately, since my parents ended up losing both their kids, at least she apologized to me for being a bad sister and a bad person in general, which I forgive her for because I don't think choosing to be unforgiving and cold is going to help me in any way. We talked things out and she told me the same thing that my aunt did, that from this point on, she'd be there for me no matter what. So that was nice. It's been a little less than a week since my original post, and I still haven't heard from my parents after the email, so I'm guessing they've given up on trying to get me back. I'm sure my grandparents must have had something to do with it since they did call me in the middle to tell me that my parents wouldn't be bothering me anymore and that I didn't need to worry about them showing up at my school or emailing me again. I hadn't told them about the email that dad had sent, so I'm assuming that my parents and grandparents must have talked about things. I don't know what they would have talked about, but I'm sure my parents have given up now. Update 2 Just 3 days have passed since my last update, and today my aunt told me that my parents have agreed to give up their parental rights and the paperwork and stuff will be complete soon. She'll be taking over the legal aspect of my custody soon, and I have mixed feelings. I'm happy that I'm finally going to have a home where I don't constantly feel unwanted and unneeded, but I'm also kind of empty and sad about some things. I feel weird that this is finally happening, but this is for the best. This is what I wanted. Update 3 Okay, hey guys. A couple of weeks have passed since my aunt took over. She's my legal guardian now, so yay for that. I also found out that my parents only gave up my custody because after I told my grandparents that I didn't want to go back to living with them. They told my parents that they could either lose their entire inheritance or they could keep 50% of whatever they were going to receive initially and give up my custody and promise not to bother me again in any way. I guess we all know what my parents picked, lol. I'm not surprised. And at this point, I don't even care because this just makes me feel like I dodged a bullet there. Good riddance for me. I'm still in touch with my sister, though. My parents are trying to get back on good terms with her before her due date, but she wants some time to herself right now, so she's told them that she wants her space and they need to stop bothering her every day. At this point, I can't help but just laugh at what a pathetic mess they've made of their own family. But whatever. I'm happy with my aunt and that's all that matters.